Hi everyone, I wanted to do a video check-in um, to kind of give you an idea of where we are with everything right now. Uh, the exam is less than a month away now at this point um, and some decisions that I'm having trouble making and I really want your input on this because honestly you guys are the ones taking this exam. Well, most of you are taking the exam in a month and um, really it's what you want and what best fits your needs. Um, so what I'd like you to do is take a look at my screen here. I've got um, all of the chapters that we've gone through in green, woohoo, right? Um, and the gray down here at the bottom, ecology, not on the exam, so we don't need to cover that. Uh, what I'm looking at are um, these two units here and some material we still have to cover. So we're good here and we're good here. We're doing viruses this week coming up, so that's why it's in yellow. And the items in red are things we have yet to cover. Um, so <clears throat> with that said, let's look at a calendar. We have, you are here, right? Here we are. Uh, this week we have Monday and Wednesday to work on viruses. Thursday school is actually closed. Um, they decided to turn the professional development day into a no school day. So we will not be doing any independent, independent practice that day as we normally would have. So that day is um, sort of canceled on our schedule. And then Friday is an office hours day where we can't do any practice or work. So that leaves us with uh, next week, the following week, I should say, and then the first full week in May, second full week in May, and then the exam that Monday. So here's where I'm at, and this is the decision I need you guys to help me make. Um, I really wanted to do, well, I want to do at least two weeks of review uh, with you guys, because remember now a week is limited to two hours of work. So that's four hours of review together as a, as a group, me and you, right? Um, that would leave us with doing review. I'm I'm picturing these two weeks. Again, that's only four hours of review, but it's review nonetheless, which leaves us with one week or two hours to cover the items in red here. So I'm at a point where I can't, well, I would like you to help me decide. Do we cover in that week um, well, I can already say it. we're going to, if we cut whatever we cover, it's going to be these two things here because they're important. Um, the first question on the exam is going to be based on an experiment. So we really need to go through the biotechnology stuff and look at um, the bacterial transformation experiment that's within these chapters. That's going to be important. And then that would take us all of that week here which would leave us with no room to cover plant hormones and um, an example from the immune chapters on cell communication with immune cells. All you have to know is an example of how those cells work. Um, so it's not too much there, but in essence, we would be sort of skipping it or not finishing it um, in an effort to get to review. Or the other option is that we spend this week here doing these couple, this chapter and a section, and then we only have one week of review here, which would only be two hours of review together. Of course, you can review on your own whenever, however, um, but that would be only two hours together. So what would you like to do? These are your options, and I'm going to post a survey, and I would really appreciate it if you guys could um, do the survey really quick, answer the question or two. Any feedback you could provide would be great. I want to do what's best for all of you, of course. So your options are, do we cover these two things in the span of two hours, which if you're asking me as the AP biology teacher, these are way more important than these two things in terms of content and what I would expect you to be better geared for the exam. Do we do those two things this week and then review for two weeks, or do we review for one week here and cover all the content here? We were on track to finish the content um, until the new framework came out, and now we're kind of just, we are, we are where we are at this point, right? Uh, we've done our best. We've covered a lot of stuff, so I don't want you to panic and be like, oh my god, if I don't know this one chapter, I'm not going to get a five. No, right? Um, but I just want to know what to do because I'm kind of having trouble deciding. So I'm going to post a, a survey and I would love it if you guys could uh, just give me a quick response to it to help me kind of navigate what our next couple weeks here up to the exam and just think by this time next month it'll all be done for us. No more exam crunch, right? That's nice. That's a nice thing to think about. I'm thinking about it now. All right guys, I would appreciate your uh, feedback. Thank you for your time. Take care.